Hi guys, how we doing? I hope we're hope we're okay today. I hope we've started the uh, hope we started the week all right. Um, so um, so yeah. So a minute. Let me just get that down. There we go. So what I want to talk about today, guys, is a really important bit about. Um, about anything related to health and fitness, and that's change. And on the surface, change sounds really easy. You've just got to change. But realistically, we all know, we all know in here that, okay, we can change short term, but how do we change long term so it becomes habitual, so it becomes part of our lifestyle, and so we can do it without little thought or effort? And it's tough, it's hard, and it's um, it's not just a one and done process. It's things that we need to keep on working on day after day and time after time. And uh, inevitably things get in the way um, to, to stop us from ultimately changing, changing long term. However, there is um, one thing that um, I did a few years ago, um, probably four or five years ago now, which um, I just happened to do. I think I just just thought that I had to do it if I wanted to, because I was in a I, I was in a bad state for whatever reason. I just thought I just I, I just need to do it. I just need to um, just stop being basically stop being an idiot and just just sort myself out. Um, and everyone's going to have their own different style and how they deal deal with things. But I was quite unconventional with how I dealt with it. But it helped me with the process of change, um, and it uh, and it helped me for the better. And it was reinforced to me the other day. I went for, I went for a run. I went for a, an hour long run, and um, I was listening to um, the Miracle Morning by a guy called Hal Elrod, and he alluded to it, and it just reinforced it to me. And I was just like, shit, yeah, that that was me. That was me four or five years ago. Um, and it was about taking on full responsibility for everything in your life. And uh, it was all related to change. And he, he goes on about, it's like, it's only when you start taking on full responsibility for everything in your life that you can even entertain you changing for the better as a person. And what he likens it to is, is blame and, and the fact we live we live in such a blame society and uh, I, I notice it every day, every single day, there's um, people blaming everything but themselves, okay, because it's so easy to blame um, put or put the blame on someone else or, or, or uh, blame an external to kind of deflect or ignore actually what, what that person isn't doing um, to, to get to where they want to get to. So it could be things like blaming another person. It could be blaming an obstacle um, or a barrier getting in that person's way to, to, to halt progress. And with myself, especially for a large part of my 20s, I was in a very much blame culture. Um, and, you know, I, I got to the end of my 20s and I was in a the situation I didn't particularly like, I didn't really like where my life was heading and I was adamant on blaming others for, for that. When actually I was in that situation because of me, because of how I was conducting myself and because how I was acting, but because I was in it, I couldn't see it. I was just in such a blame culture of blaming everyone else. And as a consequence, I was not taking on responsibility for me and for my life. And uh, there's no progress that can be made from that. And it was only when, just by chance, I don't even know what the light bulb moment was. It was maybe probably a lot of it was one of my mates who doesn't normally say a lot. He sat me down and had a word with me and told me to sort my sort my shit out. Um, that I actually started to think and I started to say, well, actually, I, you know, the only person that can change is me. Um, so if I want change to happen, I need to change the way I act and the way I look at things. And one of the things I did without even knowing was start actually owning up to stuff that I had done 
um, and to stuff that I was doing, how I was behaving, how I was acting, and started to take on full responsibility for everything that I was doing. Now, what people sometimes get confused with, with responsibility, is the same as blame, and it's not. Responsibility is making a commitment for your future actions and, and how you move forward as an individual. Blame is looking at who's, who's at fault for something or something that's gone wrong, okay, or a particular situation. So in my eyes, that's looking into the past. So let's just distinguish to start off with that responsibility is not the same as blame. But the important thing is, it's only when I started um, taking on responsibility for everything that I'd done and everything that I was doing, how I was acting, how I was conducting myself, was that I only could really start to actually get myself out of the hole that I got myself in and started to change. And, and, and that's realistically like what happened with me and probably looking back on it and, and listening to the Miracle Morning the other day just reinforced that to me that that, that was very much applicable to me and that, that happened to me. And it's the same with you guys, with, you, with your health and fitness, is that if you can take on full responsibility for everything that is going on um, within health, your health and fitness or just life in general, that's only when you can really start to make strides going forward. So things like, okay, you've got a step count. Have you hit that every day? No. Well, why not? You can't then go blame someone else or something else for not hitting your step count. Have you done a workout today? No. Was it planned in that you do a workout? Yes. Well, why haven't you done that workout? You haven't taken responsibility for something that you were saying and, and the, something that was planned in and you said you were going to do. So it's very, very important that we understand that for a, for a lot of our society, the blame culture is what kills people. It's what kills their action. It's so easy to blame something or someone to, um, to stop doing what they know they need to do in order to get to where they want to get to. But realistically, do they really want it? Okay. Whereas if you start taking on responsibility and uh, start fronting up to things and make a commitment um, to make a change going forward, that's when really change can accelerate. That's when really you can make a difference to yourself. Um, and that's when you can uh, to start look, feel and, and start acting different on a daily basis.